So this year, I've managed to go from 1k subscribers to almost 400k. And there's one big secret I've learned along the way that I think every YouTube really needs to actually hear. So I began uploading on my Wenzo channel, which is my main channel now, uh, around, like, just... Probably about a year ago from when this was posted actually and at first my videos, you know They did all right. I think my first video actually sub somehow I don't know how but managed to get like 20k views or something which is pretty crazy for a first video But after trying just again and again and again eventually one of my videos actually took off and got like a hundred K Within the first week and that video is now on like 2 million views or something nuts like that And that even took off another video that's now on like 2 million views it, It's pretty crazy sometimes God, I am actually so yeah I wasn't a hundred percent sure why it did well I knew I had obviously made some changes to make it do well But I wasn't quite sure what exactly told YouTube to go okay Let's push this out to loads of people but then so I started doing a couple more videos and they also did really well and there was Obviously something I was doing right. I still wasn't quite sure what it was But I was just basically going with each video learning and improving every time always trying to make the best videos possible So everything was going well, but after a while I'm s no After a while my videos were beginning to feel kind of stale because I was kind of just like copying things from my old videos and making it super similar in my new videos and that kind of meant not only I got bored But my audience was getting bored as well It just wasn't that interesting and you know I, I was starting to lose my personality in them and and the views were reflecting They they started to go down and views is something I was swore not to really care about that much and to this day I don't really but back then I was so new to getting views and like they very quickly they started dropping off and I wasn't too sure why and not only that but at this time I was Creating a video that I was really anxious about I, I I just wasn't enjoying making it that much I was really scared it wasn't going to do well and I just w all of a sudden I started having these thoughts in my head like uh, Maybe maybe YouTube's not for me. Maybe I just got a lucky strike basically it was it was not ideal Let's put it that way. So after a while I kind of went okay. Well, I'm about to die in a 2v1 that that's that's What why is this? Uh, it's, what? But yeah, I kind of just went with my new video I was working on. I was like, you know, I'm not really sure about this. So I'm just going to try a whole bunch of new stuff. And you know, if it does terrible, if it gets like one view, that it's not the end of the world. I will have learned a valuable lesson. So I started trying a bunch of new things and I published it. I, I just made sure I was just trying things that I had never even really seen done on YouTube that much. But this is where I started to learn how I could consistently create videos that would do like decently well. So yeah, I uploaded that video. I was still nervous about it because it was completely new. And that video today is by a mile my most popular it's on like six million views or something now it's it, pretty wild but i was super anxious about that because i was trying new things and in reality that's why the video did so well because i was doing things that hadn't been done on youtube before or at least things that were just completely different to what a viewer would normally see i truly think that's the way to become a better youtuber it's just putting yourself in uncomfortable positions. so moral of the story try out new things on youtube do things that make you feel uncomfortable because those could be the things that really change the game for you i'm doing one of these videos every day leave your questions down below i'm going to be answering all of them